Have you ever wondered how Rutgers got its name? Or the origins of its rich tradition and history? Maybe you're wondering who this Revolutionary War veteran behind me is. Well, the answer to all three of those questions is Colonel Henry Rutgers. Colonel Henry Rutgers was a patriot in the truest sense of the word. As a noted philanthropist, he played an important role in the early history of Rutgers University. At the time, the school was known as Queens College. It was one of the biggest benefactors of Colonel Rutgers' generosity. Rutgers donated a $5,000 bond and a bell to the university in 1825. A year later, the school renamed its campus Rutgers College. The Rutgers University archives and special collections have collected personal artifacts, documents, maps, and other effects from Colonel Rutgers' life. This effort will honor the legacy of Henry Rutgers and recognize the lasting impact he has had on the university. There can be no doubt that Henry Rutgers has left a legacy for the college that goes beyond the bell and the bond that he donated. He left a name, he left a name that evokes strong feelings and emotions. I'm pleased to join with you in saluting Colonel Henry Rutgers and in expressing the pride we feel whenever we use his name. That's Rutgers. The age of the university goes back in the colonial era and then just, you know, naming it Rutgers College, I think well, the idea was to just get a new start because it was really a rough, a rough uh, history prior to 1825, uh, closed twice, and so I think the whole idea was to re kind of resurrect itself uh, with a new name and, and named after someone who really epitomized uh, Christian uh, values, uh, et cetera, et cetera, it was a very prominent in the 19th century. Well, we have a lot of different collections in our permanent collections, and we also borrowed a lot of materials and got reproductions. Um, we have um, some of the early 17th century deeds from Henry's uh, great-great-great-grandfather, Rutger Jacobs. We have uh, a lot of materials from the manuscripts uh, collection, letters, manuscript letters written by Henry Rutgers. As far as the artifacts are concerned, uh, we have some wonderful silver pieces that were in his house that he owned and his walking stick. The money he made as a developer and a landlord is no doubt the basis of uh, his donation to Queens College in 1825, as well as the source of his many other benefactions. In the process of doing the research project, I think the thing that uh, uh, was brought home to me that in his nearly 85 years, uh, I mean, he spanned uh, so many periods of American history from colonial, revolutionary, confederation, early national, uh, right up to the Jacksonian era, and uh, also that he was involved in so many things in one way or another. Sometimes they were honorific roles, and other times he was more uh, involved. It's been a really fun project, and I think that uh, everybody should come, especially students, to get a look at just really a lot of different types of documents and look at all the different, different aspects of uh, Colonel Henry Rutgers. One of the things that we plan and particularly to reach out to the citizens of New Jersey is when they show up for Rutgers Day in April, um, that this exhibit will be on display and will be, will be featured as part of our activities here in the library. And I'm, and I'm hoping when people come and they walk through the exhibit, they'll realize, oh, oh this, is, you know, this is what Rutgers University, or who Rutgers University is named after. Henry Rucker's legacy of honor and dedicated service to his community lives on in the lives of students and faculty of Rutgers University. As we go about our daily lives, it is important to remember the shining example that Colonel Henry Rutgers portrayed in his life. For RETV, I'm Tiffany Hill. For more information on Colonel Henry Rutgers, visit the Alexander Library on College Ave or visit their website at libraries.ruckers.edu.